Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at what the market is doing as it just opened. So we'll take a look at Nvidia, Tesla, QQQ and SPY in this video. Today, we have Tesla earnings as well. We'll get to know that in the post market, but for now, we'll just take a high level look at the broader market, QQQ and SPY, then spend good amount of time on Nvidia and Tesla in this video. All right, let me show you around QQQ real quick. So with QQQ, guys, um, we have been talking about that. Yes, QQQ across the board, it looks bearish and red, but at the same time, we are seeing that the price action is being supported at one of the levels and also above is still 20 days moving average, right? So QQQ technically is still can shoot up as long as it stays above the level of 363 and 51 cents, right? However, since the dashboard is quite red so some of the intervals that you could be watching is because it hasn't confirmed upside yet so even so this is how you have to put things together when you start seeing that things on the daily interval patterns are looking great then you can wait for the confirmation on the dashboard and vice versa right so right now it is testing that though it's bearish so it's not the time to go long once we start receiving confirmation then it can be played and that's how you use the levels the moving averages and my dashboard and yeah, my levels are also automatic that gets marked. So more information is right up here about my indicator, guys, okay? Alrighty. Um, now let's go back to SPY real quick because we wanna just take a look at high level on the market right now. And then, because I wanna jump on to the good stuff with Tesla and Nvidia. So this is SPY and not quite sure. Here we go, yeah took a little bit a while for the indicator to load there um for yeah it happens when i have a lot of tabs open on my chrome okay so 432 is one of the levels to watch for on spy if spy, spy gap down so you gotta be careful if it breaks 432 and 92 cents watch this 20 days moving average on spy okay um yeah, like if it starts breaking that, then again, we have a possibility to come down to 200 days moving average and create level by level, guys. Watch the level if 432 holds or not, okay? So that's that's on SPY. Let's take a look at Tesla first and then we'll jump into NVIDIA. All right, so Tesla again, guys, so they have their earnings today, right? So anything can happen in post markets. There is not much you can do today to trade it technically. I would suggest hold off, okay? Yes, we are looking bearish across some of the boards on the five to 60 minutes interval. It is above 50 days moving average. Um, with the market selling off, looks like it will continue to sell off, but again, post market can change its direction. Uh, I would stay, away from trading tesla today however it's in the sandwich zone between 20 and 50 days moving average taking a look at hourly interval on and oh sorry on tesla and tesla may even stay undecisive today we'll see what it does but as for the price action guys um we are in the bearish mode on the interval right now right uh, we are below 200 hours moving average. You can see we are rejecting this level so badly as well, right? And I'm working another functionality in my indicator that will also give you day-to-day -day zones where to potentially, um, you know, look for entry, sorry, short or um, long for day-to-day -day basis as well. I'm going to add that to my functionality on the indicator as well. So, okay, so with Tesla, if it continues to sell off, it is below 20 and 50 hours moving average, then watch it can come down to 247. Uh, with this wick forming strong up there, I think I'm gonna open a short position right after this video. Uh, I'll see the price action then, but looks like this wick that has formed up there, I wanna you know get into it on the short side, maybe some dollars move if I can get. Um, okay, now that was Tesla. Let's take a look at the good stuff guys, Nvidia. So, yeah, this is not good. So Nvidia, uh, let the chart real quick load here, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so Nvidia seems like uh, continues to sell off massive gap down again today. So we came down from $460 down to the gap down yesterday of 438 it sold off all the way to 424 breaking that as well now, 423 We did find some support when the market opened there. 
um, and I'll show you the level as well. But now we are continuing to sell off. I covered some of my short position at 427 this morning in the pre-market and which I had opened from 457. And I'll, I'm carrying the rest of it. I'll, I want to cover some maybe at 419. If it comes there, I'll see the price action throughout the day. And then, uh, you know, I'll just keep carrying on. And I'll just keep adding more on my short in the bounces. You know, the, there, there will be bounces coming. But yeah, NVIDIA is right now at 425, right? It is technically falling on the news that US is going to put, has put restrictions on NVIDIA's ability to sell to China the chips, right? So that's the problem. Now, if we go to the hourly interval on NVIDIA, and here we go. So guys, this was the level I was talking about as well, the level of 424. I did mention in my Discord as well, watch this level as potential level for the day to watch. Um, was calling out this as a potential support we did receive this support for some time but since overall we were bearish i wasn't expecting this to hold for long but you can see right now also it's reacting at this level of 424 um so holding some support here right so um but yeah if it continues to break it opens up well 409 and because i know what i was looking at is i have it on medium i can move it to high and uh, just because how much you know the the depth that i want to see yeah it's still loading i can see that there sorry guys when the market is um you know just open my chart takes a while here we go I got the levels um yeah so this is weighted adjusted on the recent price action on the daily level yes 419 i'm looking at and these are the remaining levels that i'll you know like around 419 420 on the hourly interval and then so forth, right? These could be also the levels I can be watching uh, to take a potential cover my position because I have been already short on it, you know that. And I'm just booking my profit on the way down. Um, so yeah, guys, NVIDIA for today is bearish. Uh, if it breaks above again 424 and gets above the VWAP, yeah. And some upside may come, but as we say, we are across the board bearish. And you can also, and as I'm saying, I'm going to add more functionality that will give you the zones as well on my indicator. Look, it's getting bought back up just at the level of 424, right? This is, uh, yeah. So definitely this is where buyers are still trying to present. And that's the level I called out on our Discord as well uh, for my members, the level of 424. But let's see if it holds or not. Um, because overall we are bearish on NVIDIA. Um, guys, yeah, this is yeah you know nvidia has room to keep falling it has fallen quite a lot for the day as well so not sure if bounce will come and you know if bounce comes we gotta see that but if it keeps falling watch the level of 419 then 409 around and then if we break start breaking below the level of 402 or 404 then it opens up the room again to 373 right now the upside on it is tough to come um yeah oh Quickly, I just realized as soon as I wrapped up the video, I saw that there is another news here on NVIDIA. And here we go. Citigroup cuts price target on NVIDIA to $575 from $630, maintains buy rating. You know, this is what happens, right? Um, you know, they, they keep pushing this stuff, right? When they, in the hype, they push it, right? They push it, push it, push it right they're like yes it will keep going up keep going up and when it keeps going down they bring down their price targets guys that's what i always say that don't rely just on analysts they will they don't know period they just pump it up this well it's still high quite high 575 but looking at the price action i'm still saying it's not gonna happen right um, they now look at it. They did cut down the price target today, right? Because they're like, oh, well, we don't want to look fool now because our plan to pump it up in the hype, Jensen Huang sold here already so much of his stuff. You know, we want to save our face. We fooled our customers once. Now we don't want to fool them twice because we already made the money on our side, making our customers buy it and we sold it, right? Um, and so, yeah, you know, this is, that's why. 
don't take it as the words written in the stones by the analysts. They will upgrade, downgrade the stock price when the stock price has made the move, right? They are always after, right? I'll show you an example on NEO as well. You, you know, um, so the, talking about like, yeah, oh my God, it's <laughs> again going down today. Um, you know, NEO, we called out NEO that it's going to start going up right over here, $8, right? And when NEO made the move already up to $14, $15, then analysts came out saying, oh, it's $16, $17, $18, dollars 19 dollars you know? And that's when the price was already at the top. Like, yeah, they said something $14, $15 as well. I can't remember. But the, when the price already made the move, then they come with their upgrades. And the, look what happened. Price, price went down. So we call out the moves before they even happen, guys. Like analysts, they are, believe me or not, but they are there to for their own self-interests, okay? These hedge funds are there for own, own self-interests. They want to sell to the public and, you know, at the higher levels, that's why they keep pumping it up because they have already loaded up. They don't tell when they're loading up. They, they ask others to buy from them when things are high up already because they pumped it up already and then they start selling off. So, sorry, this is just something I want to cover. I'll put this in my video as well. All right, see you in my next videos.